All praises to Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostles and Elders in New York, JMS, and um, salutation to Yahweh, um, that's around the four corners of her teaching the truth. All right, my name is Maya Gala Nagab. I'm with Chicago Branch of JMS. All right, and today uh, we're going to do some uh, archaeology, you know. But I'm going to read this uh, before we get, uh, you know, get into it. It says, Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish, they have not known me. They are sight as children. They have none understanding. They are wise to evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, right? And uh, two thirds among Israel, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, they sottish, man. They, they, they stupid. You know, because they'll say uh, the stupid, dumb things like there's no ar archaeological evidence of you know, figures in the Bible. All right, well, it's, it's totally opposite, man. All right. So right here, an uh, article from New York Times, all right, from um, August the 14th, uh, 1992. And please excuse that chime, that's the broadest chime in. All right, um, it says right here, a tomb may hold the bones of priests who judge. Yahweh shy, but people even call Jesus. It says, really, archaeology had discovered the family tomb of Caiaphas, the Jewish high priest. First of all, he wasn't Jewish, he was a Israelite from the tribe of Levi. All right, Jewish means something like a Jew. All right, well, people over there in the land of Israel today, they're not the real Jews. Those are Edomites. All right, who presided at the trial of Yahweh had to live to the Romans to be crucified, buried in an ancient cave on the outskirts of Jerusalem. The family bones were sealed in ornate and elaborate carved ossuaries. Ceremonial boxes used widely by the Jews of the late first century. Archaeologists say no comparable evidence exists for the remains of any other such major figure in the New Testament. And after 2,000 years, the presence of Caiaphas bones in the tomb cannot be finally verified either. But the age of the bones inscription on the sumeries and the artifacts that surround them all point directly towards the influential family. All right, it says one of the history most reviled and naked men, Caiaphas, has been portrayed by stories of uh, man, uh, man man for power and bonnie, eager to please Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. All right, it's because uh, Yahweh was the one that was brought for, brought before uh, Caiaphas. All right, when you read um. Matthew chapter 26 verse 57 alright it says the gospel describes Caiaphas come to the condemnation of your house shot at John 11 49 50 you know nothing at all nor consider that it's speeding for us that one man should die for the people alright and that whole nation perish not alright it says like many such discoveries this one came by accident when workers when a road in Jerusalem Peace Force in 1990 stumbled across an unusual large burial site research assurance. It says right here, although it had been nearly two years since the site was uncovered, research had taken until now to shoot itself through the right on the walls of the tomb and artifacts found with the bones that remains were indeed those of the priestly family. I can hardly imagine more significant discoveries from that period, say Bruce Chilton. Okay, let me go down here. All right, uh, let me see. It says right here, many bosses have been broken, their contents ransacked, ancient evidence. It appears a great robbers, but others seen untouched. One particular stood out in a splendid, it was decorated with a rare, uh, Intricate pattern, rosette, and the description. Joseph, the son of Caiaphas. Joseph was a nickname the Jewish of the Jewish high priest, known as Caiaphas, who ruled in Jerusalem from AD 18 to 36. Inside this unique elaborate sumerary were the bones of a 60 year old man. Okay, it said the writing on the side of the equipment of his name. Mr. Wright said in an interview, he noted that at Aramaic, right, it was Lashwan Kadash, Paleo Hebrew, all right. On the wall and the summary language used by working class people at that time, uh, cemetery workers, for example. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all where they are. Uh, I hope that 
you know, the, the picture pop up, I can show you. All right, so this is the image of the tomb they discovered. Okay. On there. Uh, okay, go so long. All right, so they got another image. Okay. So, you know, the people in the Bible, man, was real. You know, brother, true, we already had faith that the people existed. You know, but just to prove, man, that, that Israel exists. All right, and this ain't the only uh, uh, Levite burial ground they had discovered. Is more. So, uh, Yahweh rises out. Uh, Lord, when I'll bring some more evidence. Shalom.